Hey everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video on converting a WordPress blog into Android application. So in the last video, we extracted the data, right? So we uh, wrote the code that is just an order request to get the response from the server. After that, now we are going to extract the data so that uh, we'll be able to extract the useful data that is title, content, links, and categories, etc. So to do that, we need to look at the structure of the JSON again. So let's go back to the browser and uh, expand this. So we have this multiple items here. So this is JSON array and inside that we have this JSON object and each JSON object represent the one post. So this is first, second, third, and fourth, and so on. So every post has the some set of uh, key value pairs here, right? So, and there are a few things that we are interested. So we are interested on date, we are interested on title, content, excerpt, etc. right? So now what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and extract the data that are only useful to us. So we will extract the date first, title, content, and so on. And we'll go ahead and see how can we do that. So uh, right now we have this response variable with us that, that that is a JSON array. So we have everything inside this response right now. So what we can do is we need to iterate through each of the JSON response. So here JSON array has multiple items in our case five items. So we need to iterate through each and every one of this so that we'll be able to get the uh, data of each and every post that is present in this array. So for that, we need to run a iteration. So we need to run for loop. So let's go inside this Android as Android, uh, Android, Android Studio and here write the for loop. So this is a simple for loop that is I less than. Now the less than should be the response length. So response dot length and we'll increment the i so this array is going to uh, this for loop is going to execute for the length of the response so in our case five times right so now what i'm going to do inside this for loop is first i'm going to extract the date so extract the date okay so to extract the date we need to go back to our structure again and here since we already have this json array available to us now we need to extract the json object so we can write the code json object and this is for the uh, overall object so json object data Okay, so now from the response, we can get the JSON object and here we need to pass the index and the index is available to us through the I that we have used in the uh, for loop. So this might throw an exception. So we need to wrap that around with try catch block. Okay, now this JSON object data contains the all the value that is uh, available inside this one particular object. Okay, so in the first time when the for loop is executed, i equals to zero. So we have the information of this first object. So this is zero, one, two, three, and four, right? So to get the information, we can now use JSON object data dot get string, and we can pass the key of this value that is present here in our case that is date so i'm going to copy that date go to android studio paste it here and close it so this should give the value that is present inside this date field that is this value should be returned so let's go ahead and log this value and we will see if we are getting the correct value or not so log d and here I'm going to paste the same code that I have just written and it should display the date. 
so let's run this again okay operation is successful go to lock app now we'll wait for a few seconds yes and now you can see we are getting this data on response and we have this uh, post date of all the data that is present inside our json array so one two three four and five so we do have five post and we do have this uh, post date of five post okay so that was for the now we need to store that date we have just extracted to somewhere right so that's why what i'm going to do is i'm going to create new post here so if you remember we have this post class available to us and this contains all the fields that we are going to extract from the json data right so post let's call it p and new post so that we can use this p uh, instance of post class to store the whatever the data that we uh, extract here so p dot set date okay and here inside we'll paste the same code that we have written so let me close some let me delete some of this okay so p dot set date we are setting the date of the of uh, our post okay now the next stop is we need to extract the link okay so let's see if we have the field available to extract the link or not so title content date tags so we don't have the link field so we are not going to extract that let's go ahead and extract the title okay so now to extract the title the title itself is an json object okay so we need to do one more steps here so since the date was a direct field available inside this json object we were able to directly uh, use get string and pass this key to extract this value right but now this title is a, an object of json so we can't do that directly what we need to do is we need to get the json object and inside that we have this rendered key value pair and we can use this to extract this title so let's go ahead and see how to do that so go to main activity and now here we need to get the json object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more json object variable okay uh, let me quickly refactor this this would be small j i don't want to get confused later when we uh, see the code so okay json object title object okay now using the same json object data we can reference to that uh, json object present inside this okay so let me go here and the json object data dot get json object and now here inside we can pass the string that is key which is present here okay so this is the key and now we are getting this value as the this object value being stored inside this title object okay now finally what we can do is p dot set title okay and now we will use the title object to get the string and inside that we have the key as the rendered so we'll paste it here now the title of the post is stored inside this instance of post class okay the next step is to get content so content itself is also a object so we need to do the same procedure here so let me give the comment here extract the title let me get this from here paste it here so that it will be less confusing when you see this code after a few days so now we will extract the content okay and you should be uh, familiar with the json uh, structure as well based on that we are writing this code so 
now we have this content which is a json object itself so we are gonna create a json object and it is content object and now we need to use the same json object data from here to get the json object and we can pass the content here and make sure these keys are same as it is given here otherwise you are not going to get this correct value okay now p dot set content and what we're gonna do is we're gonna reference this object dot get string and pass the key that is present here that is rendered so copy that paste it here okay now we should be able to get this content okay and we will get the excer excerpt now so excerpt i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right i'm sorry if i'm not so extract the excerpt okay now let's go here and see so we have this expert it is a object itself so we need to follow the same procedure that's how we have done here we'll create the json object dot sorry json object and this is except object now we'll reference the same json data dot get json object we'll pass the excerpt okay and now p dot set excerpt and we'll reference the same object that we got here and get a string and pass the whatever the key that we have that is rendered okay so paste it here and now finally we can extract the tags and categories but it is only having the number so categories is only giving numbers so there is some extra stuff that we need to do so for now we are not going to extract the categories only the placeholder is there but let me know if you want me to make a video on that as well so that i'll make separate a video on extracting the categories and displaying the post based on the categories so let me know in the comment box below so if i get any request there i'll do it but there is one more thing we need to do that is extract the feature image so okay now if i go here and see the feature image is directly present inside this main object okay and this main object we uh, it is not having any extra object inside it so it is directly present inside this main object right so this is the object and that object is reference here this object so i can directly use this json object data to get the feature image so let me set the feature image okay json object data dot get string and now i need to pass the key that is jetpack feature media url here like that okay so these are the all the stuff that we need to extract okay and uh, i hope that you are not confused where we need to create this json object and extract the data and where and the places where we directly uh, use this json object data so if you are confused let me know i'll try to explain it better let me uh, paste that here because this is our main object these are separate things okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a list of post okay and let me import that and here i'm going to initialize the posts and it is a new or a list obviously okay and now this post is going to have all the posts that we created here so just after this 
just after this inside this for loop okay just after extracting the data what i'm going to do is i'm going to add post dot add p no matter how many posts are present here it's going to extract the data and store that into this post array list okay and now we can pass this array list to the uh, our adapter that we have here so let me close this everything else so this is the adapter and it takes this uh, post parameter okay so now we have extracted the data what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, display pass this data and call our recycler view and display that into our recycler view in main activity and for that we also need to create the custom uh, view so for the recycler view and we will do that in the next video